Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. Percentages. If you guys have watched any of my videos or you've listened to some of my commentary, you might have heard me talk about percentages, but maybe you don't fully understand what I mean. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you a recent final at a professional pool tournament, and I'm going to explain about percentage pool. But first, let me just show you what I mean. Let's take this shot for example. How many times would you pot this, let's just say, out of 10? I would pot it 10 out of 10, so obviously it's very easy. So your percentage on that shot is very high. And now if we look at this shot, well, this is not an easy shot at all, is it? And again, this is not an excuse, but I've just walked straight in. But that is a good thing because I've just walked in, I've not practiced, I've just picked up a random cue as well. So my percentages are going to be low, even lower than let's say if I've been playing for an hour, I've been warming up, I've been training, doing drills. So these are the things we need to look at. So now I know this is a low percentage shot. Probably, well looking at how I cued that, a non out of 10 at the minute. So you get me drift. The first shot is a very, very high percentage chance of me potting that ball. So if we're just working to 10, I would get that 10 out of 10. The second shot, however, coming in, queuing off the rail, full length of the table, zero practice, broken rib, it's a low percentage shot. The way I hit it, probably zero out of 10, but you get me drift. So now I wanna show you this recent pro match. It was the final of the Premier League pool. That is the first ever Premier League pool that Matchroom Pool have done. The final is available on their YouTube channel. I'll put that link in the description so you can watch it. But let me just show you two situations that Joshua Filler decided to do. Here's the first one. broke at 4-1 down it's a short race race to seven four one down filler is faced with this now he has two options attack the jump or he can play a push he's a brave man to play the jump shot he's a very attacking player we all know that watching josh but that to me is a low percentage shot how many times out of 10 do you believe you're gonna pop that ball? Well, I'm gonna put it to the test. I'm gonna have 10 goals, I'm gonna speed up the footage with a bit of music and see how many pops I can make that out of 10. was a fluke just one shot now Joshua Filler is probably better than me with the jump cue however you have one shot to make it in that moment you're leading 4-1 I'm 
the percentages are very low. I'm a 2 out of 10, one was a fluke. Even if Josh was a 4 out of 10 in that type of shot, that tells you the percentages of that shot was very, very low. Now it's 4-2, Joshua breaks, gets a little unlucky with a split and this is what he's faced with. So he's got a push out option. Joshua decides to do this. He just pushes off the side rail into roughly this area here, about there. And he leaves Albin a bank shot onto the two. The two is a big two as well. It's not deep in the pocket. That means there's more ball for Albin to hit if he chooses to play the bank shot. Albin's one of the best players in the world. Is he going to miss that? What's his percentages? Could Joshua have played a different push shot? Maybe so. Could he have pushed down here? He's already played a jump the rack before, so he may as well push into a slightly easier jump. Or would he push over there, up there, I don't know, whatever. But he pushed over here. So this is what I want to show you. Roughly about there. Albin comes to the table. This is what he's faced with. If he's a complete maniac, he could try and chop it up the rail. On this table, well, it's still not a good option, but it is an option. My pocket's a little more generous than TV. But this ball is the key ball. If it was deep in the pocket... That means when playing the bank, he's not got as much two ball to hit. But because it's there and it's popping its cheeky little face out, that makes it a big ball. And the way Joshua played the cue ball as well, you know, we're talking about Albin Ocean at the end of the day. I'm not talking about some Muppet down the pub. If it had rolled it here, the bank shot's a little difficult because of the cue ball on the rail. But it was there. So I'm going to have tangos at this. where Joshua Filler pushed to and let the world champ Albin Ocean swing at the two ball. It was a high percentage shot from Albin. They were the two racks, I feel, that let Albin Ocean back in that match, in that final, that Albin Ocean went on to win. Think about your percentages when playing pool. Pool fans, there it is. That is what we're talking about when we're talking about percentages. It's the shot you're about to play. Think about how many times, just use 10 as an example. Think about how many times you might make that shot out of 10. If it's high, shoot it. If it's low, give it back. Play a push, depending on what situation you are at the table. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button, hit the like, hit the bell. I'll see you soon. Yeah.